Hey everybody, welcome back. Stonebroke Adventure, new product re review we're gonna do today. This is the Dobson 2000L. It is a 2200 watt uh, solar generator. Got a link down below in the description. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. We're gonna go ahead and run some tests on it. Uh, check the capacity on it. We're gonna show you all the features. Let's look at it. All right, let's see how this thing comes packaged. Looks like we have an accessory box right here in the top. We have our user manual right in the top. Nice heavy duty foam. There's the solar generator right there. Nice. Like I say, it's a nice solid solar generator. I can feel the mass in it. But one thing that I like about this is we have these two carry handles. So it's super easy, super portable, super easy to carry. Uh, let's go ahead and see what comes in the accessory box. It looks like we have a one of those 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet plugs. We can charge this off of the Chuck 12 volt. XT60 adapter, looks like we plugged that right in there. That's where our uh, solar panels are gonna go if we're charging off the solar. Several different ways to charge this. It does come with the AC adapter, the AC cord to plug this. We can charge it with the AC cord. Let's go ahead, hook this up. We're gonna charge it. Lithium batteries never come fully charged. Uh, when they're shipping, so you will have to charge this up full. It's a really nice solid looking Heavy duty plastic. It's not flimsy. It's kind of a flexible plastic. Turn that thing on It's firing up We also have a little Look at that little light on there. That's always handy uh, During a power outage situation when you're trying to fumble around and get the cords plugged in you have the light one two three if you look at the display, the display is going to give us our runtime with the loads. Operates at 60 hertz. Input and output wattage. Our battery life, and it is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth compatible. Let's look at the specifications on this. We have them right here. We're reading them from the user manual. We're going to have two USB-C ports. One of them is going to be a 30 watt output max. Another one is a 100 watt output max. We have two USB-A output ports. Each of those is a 15 watt output max. We have a DC port here. This is a DC 5521 output port, 126 watt output max. We have six AC ports, 2200 watt output max, a 4400 watt surge capacity. If we look on the back, we have our AC input port. That is a 15 amp max, 60 hertz input port. We have our solar input port there. That input port for solar is 800 watt max, 20 amp, uh, 12 to 60 volt input. So let's go ahead and get in close here. You can see the watts uh, readout here on the unit. It says we're charging at 691 watts. Look at that, 691, 92, right? We're at 704, so the numbers are really matching up perfectly. The watt meter is reading correctly on the charge. So we got a little bit to go. We're gonna go ahead and charge this up. We'll be back. So here's the application. We're charging right now. It tells us what we're charging at. Charging at 837 watts, right? This hooks up Wi-Fi and it hooks up Bluetooth. You have a time management setting where you can schedule the discharge, schedule the charging, schedule the shutdown, schedule the startup, and set the charge limit. If we wanted this thing to only charge to 80%, we could set it to 80%. If we only wanted it to discharge to 10% or 20%, we could set it here. Really neat application, easy to use. We have two different styles here, right? This is the actual use style. I kind of like this because you can see the AC power going in. We'll show this again when we have the PV panels hooked up, right? It'll show you where the power is coming from. It's show you where the power is going, but you can change that screen too. Going to home page style, we can go into this style right there, set, and we just have a different style of home screen. I like the other home screen, but the app's very intuitive. We'll All right, let's do a real world capacity test on this unit. We're gonna be using our AC outlet on this. We've got a 1500 watt uh, resistive load space heater. We have our watt meter on that. It's going to tell us the watt draw, our accumulated watt hours, 
uh, the voltage. We're going to see if we have any voltage drop. Right, so this is a 60 hertz unit, right? Compatible with the US markets. So on these units, there's an inverter inside, right? We're changing direct current to alternating current. There is going to be a little bit of a power loss on that. But let's see what the total usable alternating current capacity is on this. Let's go ahead and turn this unit on. All right, red light comes on. Let's turn it on high. We have the thermostat up top. We'll go ahead and crank that until it kicks on. It's a 1500 watt unit. We're gonna turn that thermostat all the way up so it doesn't shut off. We'll be back. All right, we're at 15, 1600, 1500 watts. We'll be back when this test is done. We're gonna see how many kilowatt hours. 76% and we've run uh, 0.48 kilowatt hours on it. So it's looking, it's looking like it's kind of running right where it's supposed to be. We'll continue to run this test. Uh, come back show you the finished numbers one percent left on this battery we're at 1920 kilowatts so we're getting real close to 2000 kilowatts really close i think that's acceptable we're going to run it down until it shuts off and look we're still pulling 120 volts off of this so there was no voltage drop as the voltage curve kind of runs off as the battery runs dead so let's just see what happens here in just a second when this goes down to zero, see how close we can get. I mean, I think it's perfectly acceptable now, but we're still ticking away. We're at zero percent. We're flashing, giving us the warning. Let's see what happens with this. She just shut off. We had 1,940 watts of usable power out of the AC outlets. We're gonna run some uh, numbers on that, see what the percentage is of what they're calling for. They're, I say they're calling for 2,048 total capacity of this, but you see it's still powered on. It's not gonna run down all the capacity. It still has to have the ability to start back up, be able to charge it again. Here's a little quick chart that we put together for you. The left-hand column is the actual spec'd out capacity of this unit. 2048 watt hours the right hand column is the actual numbers that we tested to the actual ac usable capacity if you look at the top that's a 94.7 percent measured efficiency of this unit we're actually really impressed with the results of the test so let's get back into the rest of the review all right we, we're recharging this thing we're going to charge it up to 100 percent again you can see we're charging at 100 watts. Let's go ahead and change that setting here. We can go into the settings. We're gonna to go to charge discharge settings right here. We're gonna to go to charging speed. It's at 100 watts. Let's move that up to, let's go to 1000 watts, right? We're gonna go ahead and confirm. If you look here, confirm. That should ramp up. The fan should come on, right? Getting real close right there at 1,000 watts. We'll go ahead and charge this up at 1,000 watts till it's fully charged. So now we're gonna do a load test on this on the AC side. It says it has a 2,200 watt inverter, so it should be able to handle that 2,200 watts fine. It has a 4,400 watt surge capacity. If you have inductive loads, that initial startup should handle that. We're gonna check the max capacity on this. We did prove that our watt meter is reading accurately according to our meter here. We have two inductive loads, right? We have a heat gun. We'll be able to adjust high to low. Let's keep an eye on the watts on this unit. We're gonna go ahead and turn the heater back on. You can see our output right now of the heater. That's gonna drop once that heater turns on. The fan is turned on on the unit here to keep it cool. Right, let that run for a minute to balance out. Let's go ahead and turn this on low. All right, keep an eye on the watts. Remember 2200, if we can reach 2200. We're at 1950 right now, handling that fine. I'd be satisfied with 1950. No problem, still running. You can see here, there's our little hour meter, how long that would run at this capacity. 
got about 2,000 watts we're running output. We're going to turn this up now. I'm going to turn this down below, see how close we can get it. Ready? I'm going to turn it on high now and see. Twenty-one seventy-four. We're right at the threshold there, right? Twenty-two hundred watts is the max. We're at twenty-one ninety-five. It's not shutting off. Not having a problem at all handling this. Let's go ahead and crank it up. We're at twenty-eight hundred, twenty-nine hundred watts. It can definitely handle that 2200 watt capacity. Also, if we look here at this meter, checking the real time voltage of this, we don't have any voltage drop on this with this high load. So we got 1900 watts total capacity coming out of the unit and we're still at 120 volts. So this thing can handle that high load with zero voltage drop. Okay, if we take a look here, we've got a 600 watt solar panel sitting on the ground. We have it plugged in to the XT60 port right here in the back. Right. We still have our heater hooked up. It's not turned on yet. Right. We can go ahead and turn that AC power on. Our output, if we look here at the screen, right, we have 418 watts coming from the solar panel. We're discharging 1200 watts. Let's go ahead and turn our refrigerator on. We have a little portable refrigerator on the 12 volt outlet. We'll go ahead and turn that on. You can see that it is running, right? The power is on there. What's great about this is we can actually look at this interface on the application, right? You can see it real time. We have our AC, I mean, we have our PV input, 420 watts going in. We have our DC output. We have our AC output. It shows you where everything's going. And if we actually plug this into an outlet, we would have the AC input. So you can have everything plugged in at once. It's all gonna operate seamlessly. So that's the Dabson 2000L solar generator. We love this thing. Super compact, easy to handle, tough, durable, meets all the specifications. That uh, DC to AC conversion rate is 94.7% efficient. We did the test on everything. Everything passed with flying colors. We're happy with it. We have affiliate links down below. We earn a small commission off of those affiliate links. It helps the channel, helps us do more reviews on more products for you. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.